Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Tales from the Field. Welcome to the new episode of MS Text Bit. And today we are going to talk about clone table in Microsoft Fabric. This just came in and I'm here to help you out how to clone tables in Microsoft Fabric. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Tales from the Field. If it's your first time, Please like and subscribe us to the button at the bottom of the screen. We at the Tales from the Field have live shows every Tuesday at 1 p.m. EST. In the show, we discuss, we talk about blogs and videos that is created by the data community and we highlight them out for all of you and bring it up to the data community. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we drop in text bits that is something that helps you out to grow in the field. So today, we are going to talk about something else in the Tales from the Field. Welcome to Tales from the Field another MS text bit uh, topic for today. Today we are going to discuss clone tables in Microsoft Fabric. Clone tables was introduced uh, recently in uh, Microsoft Fabric and I'm going to share a good link that can explain you what really it means. So go to this link uh, on uh, Microsoft Fabric and then it will link you up to the clone table in Microsoft Fabric. Before we get started, what is really clone table? Uh, clone tables are basically uh, doing a replica replication of the tables that are existing in your data warehouse and then helping it out to be in different environments. Uh, what we came up with uh, in, in uh, my, my clone table in Microsoft Fabric was instead of do copying the entire data set, we are only doing zero copy clones. What it means is uh, zero copy clones uh, really means is it's just copying the metadata and not even doing anything else uh, and not replicating the data itself. So the benefit of having a zero clone copy is uh, you are saving a lot of things on your storage uh, devices and uh, your data still remains in the same central location that it was related in. Why do we need clone tables? Good question. So good, the reason why you need clone capacity or capabilities in uh, Microsoft Fabric is one, you can create different types of uh, copies of the existing environment into your lower environments. And then also uh, duplication of the data sets for your identical workloads. So like if you have a data scientist, you have a data engineer asking for the same data again and again, and they want to play with the data, you can have multiple copies and you don't have to worry about uh, maintaining them out. They can play around with it and they are independently used and owned by that particular department. So these are the benefits of having a clone table in Microsoft Fabric. So some of the scenarios that I want to bring it up uh, for you, which are beneficial for it. One, development and testing, right? Anybody wants to develop in lower environment and before they go to production, they want tables and data to be replicated for that lower environments. So that is one of the best use case for uh, putting the clone tables in data warehousing. Uh, near intentional data data recovery, right? I mean, clone tables can be used for recovering your data in a very, very real time uh, data recovery mode. Uh, if you have some production issues going on or periodic uh, creation of tables uh, that needs to be uh, recovered from the uh, time, time frame, uh, this is another use case of it. Uh, consistent in reporting and analytics, right? You want to have consistency against your reporting and your environment. You, you cannot have uh, people reporting different things on different things. So the, this way, having a clone table with the same data set can help you doing it up. And as I said before, uh, data exploration for machine learning and data modeling, right? You want your data scientists, your data uh, <coughs> engineers to uh, use the data to do the analysis on it or do some deep, deep, deep learning on the data. You can clone this table uh, using uh, data cloning and then it can be used for your research and other exploration purposes for data, machine learning, uh, modeling and all of that. So these are the four basic use cases that people are been using the scenarios for data cloning in there. Yeah, let's deep dive into the capabilities of data cloning in data warehouse in Microsoft Fabric. Let's go and check out the demo that I created for you guys to understand table clone. So in my Fabric environment, I have a, a data warehouse called demo.nj. In that, I have the RDBO schema, a default database uh, schema. And under that, I have two tables, a dimension city and a dimension fact table. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start seeing if I can do a clone of it. So this is the query that I'm going to write it up. Uh, create table db or dimension city one from clone table city city, and then also the same thing for the sales fact table. Let me run the first line, and it should be up up and running in few seconds. Also, let me run another line.
So let me just do a quick refresh on my DBO scheme and here you go. I see a city one and I also see a city two. So this is city one and this is city two. And for a quick update, what I can also check it out is in my query, I can do a select count from my from dimension underscore city just to see if they have the same number of records oh, I'm sorry my mistake so it's at 1170 I'm gonna run the same record for dimension city one and see if that also makes sense And then six to five and you can also check the same thing for the sales spec table now let's see if we can move it against another dbo so i'm going to create one more dbo called create schema dbo one once the dbo is created oh sorry i already created so dbo right now there's no tables in there i'm going to run the same table and see if i can create both the tables against that dbo Cool, and that's done. Let me go to DBO one, do a quick refresh, and there you go. You should see the two tables: Dimension City Fact one and Fact Six one. So you can also do generation of these tables either in the same schema or in different schemas also you can do multiple tables they are all independent of it so i can always go and drop one and it's not going to be affecting anything in my other table they're all both independent out of it so i'm just going to drop this out so if you do a refresh here it's gone uh, in my dbo fact sales one is gone from here but when i go up here in my other schema it still remains in there and that is how you can have independent clone tables uh, you can also remove attribute and it doesn't matter uh, even if you remove an attribute or drop attribute from it it will still remain in there one question that always comes up to everybody's mind who can do the clone table a clone table can be created by an administrator member or a contributor who has workspace uh, rights can create the clone table so there are a few limitations that you should be aware of. One, table clone across warehouses in a, in a workspace are currently not supported. Table clones across workspaces are also not currently supported. The table present in the SQL endpoint cannot be cloned through T-SQL. Clone creation as a previous point in any time is not currently supported. And clone of a warehouse or a schema is currently not supported. This might be coming up soon, but these are the few limitations that you should be aware of. Hope you like this video and uh, if you did, please like and subscribe to our thing and looking forward for more MS Text Picks in future. Oh, See you. Thank you. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day.